Welcome back to another how-to tutorial brought to you by Terramind. These short topic-specific videos are designed to help Terramind users and administrators with quick tips, tricks, and guidance on new features and their use cases. Feel free to write to us at hello at terramind.co with any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos. In today's video, we will cover the topic, how to configure Terramind to measure and optimize employee productivity. Workforce productivity has become a hot topic among businesses in the past decade or so. There are so many opportunities for distractions in today's workforce that management is struggling to keep employees in check and focused on productive tasks. It's a common phenomenon as numerous research studies have covered this topic over the years with no real viable solution to the problem. As a business owner, it's completely natural to question and evaluate employee productivity. Are you dealing with several underperforming employees or is the whole organization following in suit? Does your organization utilize remote resources? If so, how can you be certain they are engaged in related tasks throughout the workday? If you have found yourself pondering questions like these, then it's about time to consider UAM solutions offered by Terramind for workforce optimization. Here are several ways Terramind can help you maximize employee productivity. Classification of applications and websites your employees use on a day-to-day -day basis. You have the flexibility to define which are productive or unproductive, allowing for in-depth reporting on how your employees spend their working hours. Track user actions with the overall goal of reducing employee distractions. Are your employees spending an inordinate amount of time in IMs chatting with friends and family, killing time on social media outlets, or even binging through episodes on Netflix? Terramind can fill you in. Integrated task and schedule management. You can create employee schedules to track attendance and alert when users are deviating from their scheduled working hours. Use the revealed agent to have users identify and track the amount of time spent on tasks. Track active and idle time. Terramind can track and define what portion of the user session was active, idle, productive, and unproductive. And finally, mapping a plan for process improvement. With the use of activity monitoring and leveraging Terramind's behavior policies, you can develop a continuous feedback process to influence productive behavior and discourage unproductive or harmful activities. Let's show you how you can navigate and set up the Terramind dashboard to gain all these benefits. In the following slides, we will walk you through four steps to set up Terramind for workforce productivity optimization. The Terramind agent is an application that runs natively on a user's endpoint and tracks all activities like websites visited, application usage, file transfer activity, and so on. We offer both a stealth and revealed agent, which can be used effectively to monitor and measure user productivity. The hidden agent allows you to monitor an endpoint without the knowledge of the user. Users are monitored as soon as they are logged on to a desktop session, whether domain or local. You can set up tasks that get automatically assigned to the user based on application or website usage. Let's show you how the automatic task assignment can be done by setting up a rule. Here's a rule we created that will assign a task named Sales to users who visit certain websites or use applications we have listed. As you can see, we have used the Activity Rule category and selected Websites and Applications for this purpose. For websites, we have set a condition to detect any URL that contains salesforce.com or crm.terramind.co. For applications, we will detect any application names containing Power BI. Finally, in the Action tab, we will select a task under Set Users Active Task. Let's select Sales from the list provided. We can now save and launch the rule. The next time a user goes to one of the specified websites or uses the Power BI application, their activities will be logged as a sales task. If you want your employees to be aware of the fact that they are being monitored, you can use the Revealed Agent. This is especially useful for productivity tracking as research has proven that people perform better in circumstances when they know they are being monitored. This is also ideal if you employ freelancers or remote contractors. Unlike the Stealth Agent, the Revealed Agent only monitors a computer when the user logs into the Terramind Agent. It also allows them to select a project and tasks they are currently working on for a better overall understanding of how much time was designated to a specific task. Let's take a look at how easy it is to download and install the Terramind agent. Click the username at the top right corner of the Terramind dashboard. From there we will select Download Terramind agent. We'll now be prompted with a question asking whether or not you want the user to know they are being monitored. Selecting Yes will provide you with the Revealed agent, while selecting No will provide you with the Stealth agent. Just below you will find multiple installer files depending on the operating system on the endpoint you wish to monitor. From here you can either email yourself the URL and then open and install the file on the target PC, save the installer file on a USB stick, 
or open the Terramine dashboard on the target PC and install directly from this page. Let's take a look at how the monitored user will use the agent from their endpoint. Each time a user logs into the Terramind agent, they will be able to select from a task and a subtask they may be working on. To create a new subtask, click on New Subtask from the list provided. Create a name and save it. Once complete, the subtask will be available in the drop down window on the monitored user's end. In order to maximize monitoring and reporting for productivity, some legwork is required. We will assist you in configuring the following three items departments, schedules, and web and application classifications. Let's start with departments. With Terramind, you can create departments to match your organizational structure or create additional virtual departments. After you create the necessary departments, you can assign employees and later track tasks for those departments. Bear in mind, with Terramind's on-premise solution, you have the flexibility to integrate Active Directory and automatically create department lists based on the data provided. From the left-hand side of the Terramind dashboard, select Configure and then Department. Here you can review the list of existing departments. To create a new department, click the Create Department tab on the top right corner. Let's name the department, click Apply Changes to create the department. We can then move forward with assigning employees to the newly created department. To assign an employee to a department, click the Employees tab on the left-hand side. From there, select an employee from the list, then click Edit Info under the profile. And finally, select a department from the drop-down list. You can also define an hourly rate for employees from their individual profile pages. The next item we can configure is Employee Schedules. Click the Configure tab and then select Schedules. You can see a list of all employees who already have a schedule assigned on the very top. Below that, you will see any employees who do not have a defined schedule. Click Add Schedule to attribute the schedule to an employee. You can also select from an existing template. We are going to select the standard 40-hour template here. You can edit active work hours for each day of the week and also assign designated slots for employee breaks. Click Apply Changes to save the schedule. Terramind allows you to classify websites and applications as productive or unproductive, providing immediate statistics on their usage. To classify an application or website, click Monitoring and then select Web Pages and Applications from the list of reports provided. From the next window, click the Aggregate button to view a collective report of websites and applications accessed by your users. Then click Classify. You will note the report has been updated with a column to the left to make your selections. Once satisfied with your selections, click Confirm. Click the Productivity tab from the left menu bar and then select Time Worked. This report will provide you with granular data on user activity. Work represents the gross amount of time which your employees were logged into user sessions. With this column, you can see if your employees were present or absent from work and how many hours they've clocked for a selected date range. Productive represents the amount of time spent on productive websites and applications based on the classifications you made in the web and application report. Unproductive represents the amount of time spent on unproductive websites and applications, once again based on the classifications you made in the web and application report. Active represents time spent engaging the keyboard or mouse, while idle represents the absence of activity on the keyboard and mouse. Activity represents the average activity percentage for the selected date range. The reported value is an average of the activity level in 5 minute intervals during which the employee was logged into a session. The score of each 5 minute interval is calculated based on the user's keyboard and mouse activity. If the user types at or above 40 words per minute or is active on the mouse with relatively few breaks, their 5 minute score will be 100%. If the user is completely idle, their score will be 0%. Total represents the total wages earned by the user during this time frame and is based on the salary rate you may have designated to the user. Daily work compares activity, active and idle time, and productivity. You can choose which categories to compare by making your selections. You can expand the row to view the daily work details for each day in the date range. Terramind has several productivity related widgets you can add to customize the home page of your dashboard. Let's take a look at how this can be configured. Click Dashboard from the left menu bar. Then select Create Dashboard. From the new dashboard window select Blank Dashboard as we will start to create one from scratch. Let's give the new dashboard a name. You can optionally give it a description. 
Once satisfied, click Create, and now we can start to add widgets to the newly created dashboard. On the Add Widget screen, click the Productivity tab. Then select Add to Report to add a widget to the dashboard. Once satisfied, you can close the window. On the dashboard homepage, you can resize the widget and move them around to suit your need. You can also edit the widget name and specify users or departments it should report on. Some widgets may have additional options based on the data they display. For example, in the payroll rating widget, you can configure how many top employees you want to be displayed. As you can see, you can easily create a custom dashboard to track all your productivity metrics all from one place. With Terramind, you can influence a more productive workflow by creating policies that, when violated, present the user with a customizable message, ultimately shaping user behavior in a non-aggressive manner. For example, here we have created a policy based on social media activity. When spending an inordinate amount of time on social media, the user will be presented with a message notifying them that this is frowned upon. Over time, the user will be conditioned to refrain from such activity. You can create similar policies to reduce time spent in unproductive websites or even alert a user if they are consistently arriving late for work. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button below to view other tutorials from the Terramind YouTube channel.